Hello, hello, and welcome back to episode seven. Seven! We're up to seven of Not Roadrunner. So uh, this one is all about your kickdown linkage predominantly. It does also show you how to install your throttle cable, but it is mostly about your kickdown. The kickdown linkage is a very, very simple but key part of your car because trust me, if you get it wrong, all right, check out a couple of videos before that's what happens blow up your transmission you do not want that okay it alters the oil pressure in the transmission according to your throttle position so it's a very key sort of bit of kit but it's very simple it's just a cable but this gives you step-by-step -step guide on taking all your old stuff out putting your new stuff back in and adjusting it all so i hope you enjoy the video guys and i'll see you in a minute this has been a pretty long process like getting bits like sort of in and out and tuning it up to sort of what I want out of the car. So you will see flash, like flash forwards, not flashbacks, flash forwards to future me, uh, giving you top tips on what not to mess up because trust me, <laughs> this was uh, hard, okay? It is, there are some things that you need, they're like top tips, okay? Um, so definitely pay attention to when we fast forward and then obviously we'll go back. Um, all the stuff that I did buy is off of eBay. You know, maybe that's why, you know, I messed it up so well. <laughs> but yeah, so um, definitely to pay attention to what I've, I messed up. So make sure you don't do it. Now I'm going to show you everything you're going to need. It is obviously a big socket set because we've got lots of bolts to be undoing. This is literally just a Halford set, but it seems to do me pretty well. Uh, two jack stands, a jack, and then obviously your assortment bottle of water. Um, assortment of sort of random tools like screwdrivers and bits. So what we are looking at is this whole sort of assembly here. This is your kick down linkage, which as you can tell, uh, does not work very well. Uh, this is my throttle return spring, one of them, which obviously isn't doing a lot. And this one, as you can see here, doesn't return anything. But what I did also have a look at is this currently, isn't connected to anything. So this assembly off, new throttle cable and then new spring, but we're putting a nice new bracket on here as well. So I can show you that right now. But yeah, so that is pretty much the whole assembly here being replaced. It also look a lot nicer. Okay, so this is all the kit that we've got this is the throttle cable which actually comes with quite a nice little diagram so this is the um carb end this is going to slot through this nice bracket here then this is obviously nice and braided so it will last that goes through the firewall and that is uh, the pedal end so that is the whole thing i might need to cut down the length of the cable I'm not entirely sure about that one yet this is the kick down linkage so this goes at the carb end. So that's no doubt the bracket that holds it on. And then this hooks up to where that return spring at the bottom was. This is at the gearbox end. So this is a bracket that attaches to one of the studs at the back, towards the back of the gearbox. And then this is obviously what pulls and pushes the lever to increase uh, gearbox oil pressure. I can, well, we'll show you a bit later on like the ins and outs of that. And then we also have the bracket that I was talking to you about. This will re replace the return springs because obviously this is nice and neat rather than just having some random springs in the middle of the engine bay. So, uh, yep, let's get to installing it. So, this is a bit hard to show you. This is the other side of that rod, which as you can see is not doing a lot right now. That right there is the pressure therefore off and then as you build up you build up pressure this is your gears so we ignore that so this i don't know if this needs to come off but this rod assembly all the way up to the top obviously needs to come out then move on to the engine bay remove the jubilee clips holding down the kick down linkage Removing the air filter can give you more room to work. Okay, not gonna need that anymore. Remove the split pin and then pull off your throttle cable. Mm. 
To detach the kick down linkage from the manifold, you need to remove the split pin and then pull the linkage apart. And that is your kick down linkage cable. So next thing is the throttle cable removal. So I think for this bit, I just need to unbolt that and then this should come out. It goes, it's nice and simple. It goes through the firewall there. And then unlike new cars, that pedal, I don't know if you can see it, is there. And that, that right there, is your other end of your throttle cable. So as the pedal's pushed down, it's pulled forward. And then as it lifts up, it goes back. And then obviously it's not under tension at the minute, so it's not doing anything. But yes, yeah, so that's nice and easy to change. So let's, uh, let's get to taking that out. With that removed, we're gonna move on to the pedal assembly. Firstly, you need to remove the black plug and make sure you don't lose that. Then you move the throttle cable down and slide it through the hole to remove it. After that, we need to remove the clip from the firewall. This can be really tricky, so definitely take your time with it. Okay, so that was horrifically hard. Um, so this is the bit that goes through the firewall that I just could not for the life of me get off. So as you can see, it's kind of mutilated and or very greasy. So yeah, that's out. So next development was, this was uh, on there, as you saw in the video earlier, but this is actually so you can thread the throttle cable and the kick down, and then obviously it can bolt up to the carb. But with the throttle bracket that I'm using, this right here comes on to the underside of this. So this will be for the kick down, that will be for the throttle, then it all bolts up to this, making a nice uh, tidy setup. So that bracket over there has now become redundant. So what I had to do here was I used uh, the Allen key that came in the set to undo that little nut that holds the cable in, unthreaded this, unthreaded that, uh, and pushed this through, screwed that back on, threaded that back through, and then bolted that back up. So now that top half, uh, bottom half, sorry, is all ready to go in at the carb. And obviously this down here is a whole other story. So with all the stock bits out of the way, now you need to install the kick down linkage on the bottom of the throttle. What's happening is, is the original cable uh, bracket here is getting in the way of my new one. So basically we've got two bolts, one there, and then one tucked down there. So I'm just gonna undo them and then, uh, Pull that off and then my new bracket should fit nice and tight. Bolt right there is an absolute pain. So this is what I recommend. Okay, so I've taken this bracket off here, like I showed you. I bolted the two back on because I believe they're intake bolts. So because I actually bought the wrong bracket, this was for a holly. Um, I've ended up basically putting a um, thread, I, I tapped this so it's uh, threaded, put in this and then put a knot on top and then whatever you do, do not, because I thought I might be able to translate, so say like this side, you could translate it over to this hole, but that doesn't work because then you uh, have a vacuum leak and then it won't work at all. So uh, either buy the right one. So the right bracket for your carb, because they don't actually sell one for an Ed uh, Edelbrock, I don't think. Um, or, you know, fab something up like this. I mean, it's not ideal, but it does the job. It holds it all together. And I think it still looks pretty clean and tidy. So, you know, just something to bear in mind when you're buying something. Next up, after you've installed this bracket, is this. This has, or mine, has this little thing, which obviously this, now replaces. So I've taken this off. Put the bolt through the washer and through the throttle and shorten that up to secure your throttle return springs to the throttle. When installing these springs, make sure you don't pull this back too far. I put it right to as far as possible, which was plenty to pull this back, but it was too much to allow the throttle cable 
to actually have some tension on it because basically what was happening was is this was too strong and was pulling it out which obviously you really really don't want because that's your throttle gone like completely the other thing is, is don't over tighten this because this needs to be able to rotate because obviously as this comes up this needs to rotate the other way so definitely don't overdo this and progressively pull this out to make sure it returns properly but do not overdo this so definitely take my advice and learn from my mistakes guys now to get under the car to finish the rest of the kick down install so what's going to happen is i'm going to undo this bolt this that i've rotated down the back of the transmission this bracket here is going to bolt onto that this is going to slot over the top and then hook on to not this lever but the one behind it this one push and pulling push and pulling installing the kick down lever is pretty tough to film so i'm going to cut straight to it already installed so after install this is what it looks like that is obviously um unadjusted because that is way too slack because you can do that but yeah it should be taut about there and then obviously as the throttle goes to wide open throttle this will be pulled back in order to adjust your kick down linkage so you have to pull this to uh, it's probably easier when you don't have this connected but um, so you pull this to wide open throttle. This will obviously be at its most extended position. And that means that the oil transmission pressure should also be at its highest. So that means that this should be as tight as physically possible. So you pull this as tight as you can get it while this is at wide open throttle. And then you do this up, let it go. So that means that when this comes down at wide open throttle, the transmission oil pressure is also at like the highest it can possibly be. That's how it says to do it in the manual, but then that dictates how long your car will hold its gears. I loosened mine a little bit, so the mine's got a bit of slack in it because it was holding gears insanely long. So you, I do that as a baseline, and then after that, sort of loosen it up, tighten it up, loosen it up, tighten it up, and then sort of get a feel for where you want your car to drive because, I mean, it's as much of a cruiser as it is a drag car. So that is how you tighten this up. And then I will give you a little brief description on how to set up your throttle cable. Next, we're gonna to move to inside the cabin. The install of your new throttle cable is exactly the same as the removal of your old one. Pull your new throttle cable through the hole in the pedal and then secure it with that black grommet that we saved from earlier. Then we move on to the firewall. We slot the thread through the firewall and then do the nut up on both sides. Tighten the nut on both sides securely to make sure your throttle cable isn't going anywhere. Now to finish up your throttle cable install, we need to move back to the engine bay. Push the threaded end of the braided hose through the bracket and then tighten the nut up on the other side. When cutting your throttle cable length, make sure you don't cut it completely straight. It needs to have a bend in it to make sure you allow for engine movement while the car is running. When installing your throttle cable, make sure you pull this. Basically, I've had to right mess this one up. But basically, make sure you pull this right out to the furthest point. And then that's because if you uh, cut this too short, like I did, because every time I push my throttle cable, it pinged out. So... Um, what you do is you put it right there so then if you cut it too short you can wind it back slightly shortens the length of the overall run and then you can um obviously still get it in correctly so that is definitely something to watch out for all right sweet one guys so that is our kick down and our throttle so the throttle's all set up and the kick down we can tune it as we go you know sort of tune it up so um i'm not even massively happy with mine at the minute i still want to change it up a little bit a little bit it holds it a little bit too long but um i hope you enjoyed the video uh like subscribe and share um definitely hit the subscribe button and ding the bell if you want sort of notifications as uh, when i post at the minute it's once a week uh, all your comments will be returned so i hope you enjoyed the video guys and i will see you in the next episode see ya